Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan from Stockham Supply. Um, I did a video not too long ago about the uh, differences between the 14 inch bandsaws. So Rikon has just come out with a brand new 10 inch bandsaw that I want to kind of compare to their older version. Uh, it's still available. This is the 10-305 and this is the 10-306. And again, it's one of those things, the saws look nearly identical, but they are fairly different. So the first thing that you'll notice right off the bat is the fence. So um, on this machine, um, it's got kind of a lighter duty fence. It's not terribly secure, even when you lock it. Um, so what Raycon's done is they've upgraded the fence. Um, it's a high-low fence now, so it loosens off like that. This will slide back and forth. So just like all their bigger machines, um, you can slide this fence out and you can make it a low fence if you decided you want to do that. So it's kind of a cool little feature. Um, now that's kind of the most obvious thing. The other things that are a little bit almost more important but harder to tell um, is the meat of the machine. So first thing, let's open up the doors here on both machines. Now on this, this machine I've used so much, um, very, very well used, but just looking at the wheel, they're both aluminum wheels, but this one's significantly heavier duty, more reminiscent of their larger saws. Um, so a lot more weight and just a better balance there. Um, also the tensioning system here, um, heavier duty, you got a nice big knob up here, nice, uh, a bigger thread on the inside. Um, and then on this one, there's no quick release, but on the 10-306 on the back, we have a really nice quick release for the blade. So I really do like that quite a bit. Um, so yeah, and the other major thing is the motor, especially important on small saws like this where there's not that much power to begin with. This saw has a third horse motor on the 10-305. On the 10-306, we have a half horsepower motor. Now, the other really exciting thing is, this particular saw is two speed, where this is a single speed. So you can, if you're ever dealing with a heavy hardwood, um, you can change the, uh, the belt here on the different size pulleys and you can slow it down and it'll give you a lot more torque uh, when you're cutting through heavy hardwood material. So that's a really nice feature that I really like, especially important <clears throat> on saws with smaller motors. Now, the last thing is the capacity and the guide. So the way that they design the guides in this machine, they're very similar. To, they're all the quick release style guides here. Very nicely set up. Um, but they're actually a little bit lower profile. So they've squeezed um, a full over five inches of resaw capacity where that older machine is four and five eighths and every little bit helps when you're talking about a saw this size. Um, so they're all the quick release guides, so no tools necessary at all. So you got the edge facing thrust bearing on the back, um, whereas the 305, you got your Allen keys to adjust the guides on them. So all in all, definitely some serious upgrades. Um, the price difference is about $100, but again, that depends on uh, where you're located so so a couple little creature comforts that I didn't mention here that are worth mentioning is the this saw here it has a storage uh, position for your fence right on top um, so that's kind of nice how's it go on there right like this here so that will keep your fence out of the way the other nice thing all the allen keys that you'll need ever to adjust anything or take things apart in the saw on the back um, they have a little holder, um, so you'll never lose anything. They're all right there, which the 305 doesn't have either of those options. So that gives you a good idea of the differences between the 10-305 and the 306. Um, definitely a superior saw, more marketed, I think, towards guys that want a really high quality saw, but don't necessarily have the room, where this is more of kind of a hobbyist style saw. So if you're looking to do high-end work, this is for a high-end hobbyist that is lacking room. Um, so if anyone else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or comment on the video. And if you want to see future videos, please subscribe. Thank you.